Hi, welcome back to Valley News Live. We have some first alert weather days coming up this week on Tuesday and Wednesday as a very big snowstorm is going to make its way into the area. So let's take a look at that. Here we are early in the day on Tuesday and we're going to start seeing that snow move in during that morning commute for folks in the south. Now that snow is going to continue pushing its way up and be very heavy throughout the day on Tuesday. We could see some mixed precipitation thrown in for folks in Lakes Country by Wednesday. And those winds are going to be howling out of the north, creating messy travel all day long on Tuesday and all day long on Wednesday. Continuing throughout the day on Wednesday where we're seeing much of the area, seeing that very heavy snow continuing overnight before finally starting to wind down as we move into Thursday. And then that will start to taper off and move out of the area right around lunchtime, maybe a little bit later. Now things could change by the time we get there, so we'll keep you updated on that. But a large chunk of the area, in fact, the entire viewing area has a risk of seeing eight or more inches of snow associated with this system. It could be the most impactful snowstorm we've had this year. Unfortunately, it is April, but we're starting to see that sun get a little bit stronger each day. And right now it's 32 degrees. We have very sunny skies here in Fargo. That wind blowing out of the south at 14 miles an hour, enough to make it feel like it's 22. And looking at the satellite and radar though, we're seeing mostly sunny skies right now. A couple of areas with some cloud cover for folks in the south as well as the far north. And we're seeing some flurries for folks up there as well. Now look at those temperatures. Things are warm compared to what we've been used to the past few days, but still well below average for us this time of year. Hovering right around 30 degrees, give or take a degree here or there, except for Bemidji who's well warmer at 40 degrees. Now, as we continue through the remainder of this evening, we're actually going to see those clouds increase as we have a little bit of a south wind that'll help bring some more moisture into the area in front of that Sunday snow. And as we move into the morning hours, here we are 4 a.m. That's when we're going to start seeing some precipitation well to our west, but that's going to keep pushing its way by the morning. So we could see some places have some pretty messy travel for that morning, but we're going to continue seeing that snow for folks primarily in the northern valley. Now I can't rule out snow farther south, but really the epicenter of this snow is going to be pretty near the international border. Now by two o'clock in the afternoon, we're seeing a large area with a narrow band of snow moving through from roughly Langdon all the way down to about Wadena, and that's going to continue pushing its way to the north as the low pressure system swirls around that international border area. And by five, we're going to see most folks done with the snow unless you're in the northern valley where we're going to continue seeing that it could be decently heavy at times as well. Now, again, most of the northern valley could pick up a trace to maybe an inch of snow, but places a little bit further west could see some more, about two to five inches for folks north of the Devil's Lake. Now, by the morning, we'll see temperatures pretty warm, most of us sitting near 30 degrees. And by the afternoon, we'll have a little bit of a warm up, most places in the mid to upper 30s. And this is really our best chance to hit 40 here in Fargo for some time. We're going to see those temperatures start out pretty warm, 26 degrees, work our way up about 10 degrees warmer by 37 degrees by the afternoon. Now, Sunday and Monday, we're going to have a little bit of a break before that big snow arrives on Tuesday into Wednesday and even into Thursday with some very heavy snow and very strong winds. But then as we look into next weekend, it's not looking all that bad. The sun comes out and we see temperatures in the upper 30s. That entire forecast was an April Fool's joke, right? Yes. Besides the warm up, <laughs> I hope. We're all waiting for the warm up. Yes. So thank yeah. you so much, Jim. Thank we you, appreciate Jim. it. Still to come on Valley.